What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to create a mobile app using Bubble.io. Bubble.io is a platform or tool that you can use to build professional apps for mobile, desktop or even web. And you can do so without using code so you do not have to have the knowledge of coding. That's why it is suitable for both beginners and advanced users as it has so many powerful features. So first, let's open the bubble.io website. So go to your browser on your computer and open the bubble.io website. It'll open this page. You can log in if you already have an account on bubble.io or if you don't have one, just hit get started for free. And you can go ahead and enter your email and password and create your account or log in with Google. I've already created an account, so that's what it'll look like once you sign up with your email or Google. It'll ask you a few simple questions. What's your goal for today? We'll choose build. And it'll ask you to choose your skill level. Okay, let's choose anything. Okay, let's answer the next one. And it'll ask you where did you learn about bubble.io? Let's choose anything. Then it'll ask you to confirm your email so you'll find an email sent to you you go ahead and open your email to open this one and confirm your email so that you can go ahead and enter your bubble.io account. All right, I confirmed my email address and now let's start building our application. So let's click on get started here. It'll ask you if you want to subscribe to the premium features and activate your free trial. We'll just scroll down and click on start with basic features. It'll set up your interface. Now you'll start entering the basic information for your app. First the name, let's name it new test app. You can also change the logo. As you can see here, the name updated. You can click on the logo here. It'll open the file explorer on your computer and lets you choose a photo from your computer to change the logo. For now, we'll leave it as it is. Click next. You can choose the font. And as you will see, the font will be updated in real time. So let's choose this one. Let's say we like this one. Click next. It'll ask you to choose a color palette for the different elements on your app. We'll leave them as they are. Click next. And then it'll ask you to install if you want to install plugins. Let's for this video install a full calendar. And then click on get started building. Of course, you can skip all these steps. Now. It'll open the main interface for the editor for your app. The bubble.io editor depends on the drag and drop. So you can add elements like header, main body, footer, and so on. Let's add a header. So we'll click on the header. It gives you like a couple of designs here, like three designs. I like this one, so I'll drag it and drop it here on my main page. We can edit all the elements. Let's say we want to edit these buttons here. Let's click on the first one, the bubble form. And we can edit it. Just drag the editor here. We can rename it. So let's rename it to products. And it updated in real time. We can change the font for this button. We can change the text color. Let's change it to a bright red. Okay, and change the font. If we close this one, all the edits that we make are updated in real time. And of course, we can add a background, we can edit the style and alignment and so on. Let's click on the next one. Let's edit it to contact info. It updates in real time, as you can see. Let's make it bold. Let's change the font. So you get the point here. We can also move elements. So let's say we want to move this bubble element here to the bottom. We can drag and drop it and the placement will be changed. We can also go ahead and add a main body to the app. And you can see here, there are lots of elements, a footer, for example, a sign up and login like pop up. 
and many to choose from. Let's say we like this one as a main body, so we'll also drag and drop it. And also we can change all the elements, the text and the images. So let's say we want to edit this image or change it since this is a placeholder for an image. Let's double click on it. It'll open the editor here. We can add an image. We can leave it as it is. We can add an image from a link or upload an image. Once you click on this icon, it'll open the file explorer of your computer and you can add any image from your computer or add them from external links and so on. You can edit the layout, the conditional and all these options. Also, we can edit the text if we double click on it. Go to appearance, we can edit the text. Let's say, see our awesome new app. Now the text says so. And so on. You get the point here from these pre-made uh, like uh, elements or examples of elements. Let's say we want to add a text element in new text box at the top. We'll go to the menu on the left, the UI builder, click on text, and it gives us this like plus icon. We'll just drag and create a new text box. We can double click on it and we will enter the text that you want. New text. Okay, hit enter. And you can add icons, links, images, and so on. You can also edit the flow, the data, the styles, plugins, settings, and logs. And that's how easy it is to build your own custom app on bubble.io using drag and drop and these pre-made custom built components from the component library. Let's close the component library for now. Okay, got it. And let's add another element, this time a video. Let's create a border for our video. You can choose the video source if it's YouTube or Vimeo or edit the, add the video ID here and add the links and also edit the layout and conditional and so on. You can also click on workflow so you can add buttons here. So when you click on this, this will happen. So for example, if you click on login, it'll open this page and so on. And once you are finished with all your edits, let's go back to design. Once you finish all your edits and everything is to your liking, you can click on preview here at the top right. It'll open a new tab where you can view your app. This is the main body or the main page. As you can see, our new text here and see our awesome new app. The images or the placeholder for the images are still there. Of course, we can close this tab. And after closing the preview or the preview tab, you can go ahead and continue making edits to create your app the way you like it.